Good evening, friends. Tonight, we have a devotion for when you're feeling angry. Do you ever feel angry or upset? I want you to think of something that makes you angry and how that feels. Maybe you're angry because you didn't get your way or someone said something mean to you. That's not a good feeling now, is it? What can we do to help that bad feeling? We're going to look to the Bible at an example of a man who was angry and how he handled it. Today, we'll look at the story of Saul. This story is from the book of Acts. It's about a man named Saul, and it's interesting because Saul was good in some ways, and he was very proud of that. But let's take a look, and I want you to pay attention for how he really felt and how it made him treat others. Our story is called A New Way to See. Of all the people who kept the rules, Saul was the best. I'm good at being good, he'd tell you. He was very proud and very good, but he wasn't very nice. Saul hated anyone who loved Jesus. He traveled around looking for them. He wanted to catch them and put them in prison. He wanted everyone to forget all about Jesus. He didn't believe Jesus was the rescuer, and he didn't believe Jesus was alive either. You see, Saul had never met Jesus. So one day, Jesus met Saul. Saul was on his way to Damascus when suddenly a dazzling light flashed like lightning. It was brighter than the sun. It was too bright. Saul shielded his eyes and fell to the ground. He heard a loud voice. It was too loud. So loud it gave Saul a headache. Saul, Saul, said the loud voice. Why are you fighting me? Lord, Saul answered, who are you? I'm Jesus, said the voice. When you hurt my friends, you're hurting me too. Saul's whole body trembled. Go to the city, Jesus said. I'll tell you what to do next. When Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see. His friends had to hold his hand and lead him like a child. Saul was blind for three whole days, and yet it was as if he was seeing for the very first time. Meanwhile, there was a man called Ananias who loved Jesus. Jesus came to him in a dream. Go to Saul and pray for him, and I will make him see again. Ananias knew all about Saul and how he hated Jesus and his followers. Lord, he has come to hurt us. But Jesus told Ananias, Saul is the one I've chosen to tell the whole world who I am. So Ananias went to Saul. Brother Saul, Ananias said, it was Jesus you met on the road, and Ananias prayed for him. Suddenly, Saul could see again, but he saw everything differently. He wasn't mean anymore. He was no longer angry. He even changed his name from Saul to Paul, which means small and humble, the very opposite of proud. And do you know what Ananias' name means? The Lord is full of grace. Grace is just another word for gift, which is funny because that's just what Paul's message was all about from then on. It's not about keeping rules, Paul told people. You don't have to be good at being good for God to love you. You just have to believe what Jesus has done and follow him. Because it's not about trying, it is about trusting. It's not about rules, it's about grace. God's free gift that cost him everything. What happened to Paul? He met Jesus. Paul got a new job. He called himself a servant and traveled everywhere telling everyone about Jesus. He got shipwrecked three times, and he even ended up in prison. God loves us, he wrote from prison. Nothing can ever, no, not ever, separate us from the never-ending, never-giving-up, unbreakable, always-and-forever love of God that he showed us through Jesus. In the Bible story we read, we see Saul, who was a mean and angry man. He hurt people, and he wanted to see them suffer. But one day, Saul went on a journey and it changed his life. He met Jesus. Jesus came to him. We see that when Paul used to get angry, he would take it on others. He was very mean and would hurt people. Is that a good thing to do? Mm -mm. If you're ever feeling angry, it's not okay to hurt others. We have to find a way to make us feel better that helps, not hurt. Maybe take a deep breath, talk to God, go somewhere quiet, go outside. Any of these things that might can help you feel better without hurting others. The good thing is, God helped Saul. He was no longer angry or mean. After he met Jesus, he changed his name. Paul, 
and Paul showed others how to love God. We learn that we don't have to be perfect all the time. Everyone gets angry now and then, but there are good ways to deal with it. Remember that God loves us and will help us because he gives us grace even when we don't deserve it.